Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining me for another classic shave. Uh, today's a special shave. Um, not only am I using classic cream, but uh, I'm using a new razor plus the added bonus. It's my wife's birthday today, so she won't be watching, but happy birthday, darling. Um, today I'm going to be using one of my new razors. I said in the last uh, video that um, I'd won a a few video, uh, a few videos. One a few uh, uh, razors on eBay for a good price. Um, I put an initial bid in, and uh, nobody put in a uh, counter bid. So luckily, I won it, and uh, they were dispatched on Tuesday. So I'm just looking at the name to make sure I get it right, right way around. I don't know if you'll actually see it. Cause it's quite small. It's uh. It's right in the corner there. Let's see if it focuses. There you go. Shavecraft.com. This is a icon head. It's the uh, 102. No, 101. Sorry. It's uh, got a closed comb one side, open comb the other side. And uh, the handle. If you can tell me what the handle is, I know it's an uh, icon because it's got. Icon on the bottom there. You see that? Icon. So I'm put, that's quite a, a nice handle. I believe uh, Razor Rock have kind of replicated it, and this uh, bottom part can be unscrewed. So if you know anything about Icon razors and you know what this handle is called, please make a comment below so I can uh, so I can see. I didn't show you the razor blade, did I? Let's unscrew it again. It's the uh, Perma, Perma, I'm getting it all wrong today, Persona. And there's a, when you put the top cap and the, there's a little bit of uh, wriggle room there, but not much. So we put the screws to it, as uh, Jim Co says. A little bit of um, exposure there. You can see it on the, the razor there, a little bit, a bit of exposure there. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully that's nice and smooth. Um, I did get two other razors, but uh, I'm going to be a pain. I'll show you in the future videos. I was going to show you in, show you them all in this one, but uh, I'm going to be a pain and hold off. I don't want to blow my load all in one go, do I? I've got these razors because I got rid of all my straight razors and honing stones. Um, cream I'm using today is uh, Taylorville Bond Street. It's Eaton College. One of my favourites. It's a uh, Use quite a bit there, but uh, it's a little bit firmer than it was because it's a, a few years old. Yeah, so I thought I've been toying with the idea of getting rid of the stones and uh, straight razors. I enjoy the um, shavette shaves, and they're easier to maintain or I just can't find the time to learn the skills to hone. So press it off there. I'm gonna put all my Wickham's with regret on a, a raffle group on Facebook. And uh, they went, well, somebody won them yesterday. And uh, so I'll be sending those out on Monday. Brush I'm using today, I've not used for a while. I have to bring it back this far because it's such a big brush. It's the uh, Phoenix Shaving Atomic Rocket. I thought I hadn't used that for a while, so why not? And uh, the wife don't like Badger brushes anyway, she's, she's always having a go at me. 
No more badger brushes are coming in this house. interested to hear this. I've uh, purchased a few sterling soaps. Again I'll be a pain and make you wait to find out what they are. Bought them through um, Shaven Time Company, UK Shaven website. Just had a little bit more. My uh, lathers have been a bit thin, not really been completely happy with them. I spoke to uh, Dave Milligan, sorry McMillan, I keep getting it all wrong today. So sorry Dave if you're watching. And uh, he said they're going to be out tomorrow. So for some reason will uh, give me a reaction. And the person I've passed them on to has got a, uh, well he's building up a collection of the Wickham soaps. He said he's got uh, just a couple more to get the English Rose and the Shamrock one. really waiting for this to shave. I was at work last night and I was really, well, I didn't really want to be there, I wanted to be at home. <laughs> to have this shave with this razor. I'm gonna finish here, I've got to get my wife's bits and pieces together. She's been home for a break. And uh, I left out a couple of bun big bunches of flowers and uh, a birthday cake and some chocolates and a card. I don't know what's going on with my lathes lately. See, I've been to the uh, barbers and got a haircut. So I went down Wednesday, and there's one guy in there that uh, I prefer to do cut my hair. But he was when I got there, he was uh, still on his lunch break. So the guy that I don't really like touching my hair. He had a customer and then uh, somebody was in front of me waiting. The guy who like I like cut my hair came back from his lunch and uh, the guy in front of me obviously he jumped in that seat. So when the guy that I don't like cut my hair he finished with his um, current uh, customer he left and then I had to reluctantly sit in his seat. So uh, I'm going to go with the open comb for the first pass. Um, this person don't really listen to smooth shave. Doesn't really listen to what I instruct him to do. He does it but I thought it was my hair. I have it how I want. <laughs> 
person I like cut my hair, he, he doesn't question it, he just, he just does it. God, this is smooth. And I've uh, got cold water in the sink again, as we're having a nice warm day again. I forgot to bring in um, something else I got uh, yesterday. A while back I sent a flash board and some Wiccan example. That's before I got rid of them. And the uh, recently used, I think it was cashmere. In one of his recent videos he used sterling iced pineapple. When I sent him the samples he said if you've seen it in my videos, you know, a soap or cream, let me know. So I said I was interested in the uh, iced pineapple. I'm not really a... Uh, person that to use sort of fruity foody kind of sense. I was intrigued by the iced pineapple. So he sent that and he sent um, probably five five or six more samples, all sterling. And, uh, so thank you very much uh, Flash. I think I might do is um, wait, wait until the kids have their uh, summer holiday, their six weeks holiday, and I'll use them through then because most of them are um, sort of menthol uh, soap samples. And they'll smell wonderful. Smooth shaver. I've seen uh, Chubby B use his, I think it's the icon SBS, but uh, the head looks huge. But you can flip the bottom plate and uh, change the aggression. the um, Rockwell. Yes, I've got to finish this shave and then get my wife's bits together, some other presents that uh, we've got now. We were downtown on Bank Holiday Monday at downtown, so she got to pick up a few other bits. And I've got some balloons and some candles for a cake. Synthetic to fail, but as a big knot, I probably underloaded or not put enough 
cream. It's hard to get hold of because it's quite thick. It's a lovely scent. Um, I think the top notes are kind of citrus. I believe there's a little bit of floral in here too. From what I can remember from the Tobbs website. Got plenty of creams and soaps that move, don't we're not wasting it, are we? Thanks for all the uh, comments from the last video. Really enjoyed replying to them. I see uh, Chris has got a uh, Christopher Bradley razor. Just see, uh, I haven't got around to watching it yet, but I see Chris has uploaded a video showing that. Probably one of the most attractive DE razors at the moment. Modern ones. Yeah, that's better. I'll we'll try to try the uh, clothes comb now. This way. Feels like a uh, Parker variant or a Merck of Progress on a low setting. Feel the bar on your face, but you don't feel the blade. But you can hear it cutting. And, uh, my dear old mate that's been passed away a couple of years now, Rob Frank. This is uh, one of his favourite razors. Did uh, tease a couple of people during the week. And they asked uh, what razors I've got, and I said, You'll have to wait and see my video at the end of the week. to uh, try on the other two razors next week. I believe uh, Flash Borden is going to be doing a live shave on Sunday. I think he's going to do it at my sort of normal time slot. Five o'clock UK time. Unfortunately, I may, I may be missing it. It's uh, taking the wife out for a birthday meal. I 
I should try against the grain. Oh, this razor is really smooth. I was initially looking to get uh, the ATT Clipso. He sort of came up somewhere. I think it was at the bottom of the page of sort of suggestions for other razors. And I did also put an initial bid on a uh, ATT S1 head on a mongoose handle. The initial price was £25, I think. And uh, Few people bid on that. That was over. I think it was 125. I think I went for in the end. Still a bargain. But I had to let that one go. One drawback with this razor when you've used one side, you can't flip it over to the other side because it's, it's a different style of head. Step aside, I think, because this is a fantastic shave. Good feedback. As I said, it feels like I'm using a milk progress or a Obviously, just without that uh, adjustability. like a fish at razors where you know you go over a spot and that's it it's done you got to worry about that anymore you can just carry on with your shave See Mr. Mail call us one another giveaway. Man, yep, so cow shave. Yeah, 
You've got the uh, numbers for the lotto this weekend, have you, Manny? <laughs> Nothing makes a change. My nose is still intact, I see. I'll just uh, pause off and uh, rinse my face and uh, be back in a second for the post shave. Okay, we're back for the post shave. Just to uh, pat the skin dry. That's how I show the yeah. Which hazel I was going to use today. I don't think I'll show you any post shave actually. Do it now as it's post shave. Uh, Thayer's Lemon Witch Hazel. This is the uh, astringent. I said the uh, scent of the Tom's meat and sort of a citrusy scent. More lemony than any of the other citrus scents. So that's dry enough, we'll go for the stars of the shave. New razor and den, it's the uh, Icon 101 with the uh, closed comb one side and the open comb the other side. Uh, Persona blade, brush was the uh, Phoenix shaving, it's the Atomic Rocket 26mm synthetic, as you can see in the rocket there. That's quite a big knot. I think next time I'll have to um, bowl lather or something to get the get the uh, lather in there. Uh, this is the uh, cologne, matching cologne, Eaton College. And just spray that either side of the neck and one behind. Some on the wrist, why not? And then finish off uh, with one of Jimbo's favourites, Aquavelva Sensitive 5 and 1. Got a nice light cologne scent, just uh, use a little bit like that. Rub it in the palms. Yeah, after the uh, tobacco shave, my skin felt great from the uh, properties of the, the soap. I felt like I was having, I had a balm on, but I didn't, I didn't apply a balm that day. There we are, ladies and gents. Thanks for joining me again for this uh, show video. If you're not subscribed so far, then please do so and click on the bell icon for notifications for future videos. As I said, I've got some more soaps uh, coming. I've got um, uh, some bits coming soon. They've been uh, shipped and they're on the way. I've got to use them off camera until they tell me that I can go ahead and uh, film them. Um, there are three things are coming. Uh, I'm keeping one for myself and uh, giving the other two away. So it'll be another giveaway at some point. It won't be until probably maybe end of next month. So yeah, skin feels fantastic nice close shave so yeah have some great shaves have a great weekend and uh, yeah if you've got comments or uh, questions leave them in the comments box below or email me at the subject shaver at gmail.com uh, have a great weekend and um, I'll see you soon for another shave video cheers bye <laughs>